What's going on guys? Big BB back with another Game Case Arcade video. On this one today, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Godfather Collector's Edition Topper as I prepare to modify it. It's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. All right, guys, you know, Joe, if you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would have seen my whole entire journey, especially with getting these brand new two Jersey Jack pinball machines. The number one, I could probably say my first ever pinball machine is, was, it is the Godfather. So as you can see on this one today, I'm going to be focusing a lot on the topper. I feel like there's so many people that want to see the topper in action, but there's no good videos, I guess, or really long, lengthy videos of the topper in action. Now, yes, if you are new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. You can hear the bells and the things and all that. You're gonna, you're probably asking yourself, Vic, what the hell? Why did you get a collector's edition if this doesn't even fit? So yes, unfortunately, in my situation, my ceiling is too low for this beautiful work of art of a topper. But I still pulled the trigger on a collector's edition. Remember for the CE, the topper is not the only feature. The side art and honestly that glitter flake, not to mention the armor, that was probably the other real reason why I got the collector's edition. But I'm gonna take this kind of downside I have and I do wanna make it into a positive. I will be modifying this topper. It, you'll see it in future videos it will work i do have a big plan for it i'll tell you the plan later on in the video or towards the end but this video we're really going to focus on what this topper does we're going to take a closer look at it and we're going to see exactly what it does during gameplay now i know this is awkward i'm on my knees i'm down here to, i know it's awkward trust me just go with the flow but i've already done a modification just to get it to work at this point here Basically, once you get the topper, and in my unboxing video, I actually removed the topper. Um, in reality, there's only two. There's two wires, I should say, one kind of power wire and a USB wire that is talking to the topper. Everything else, there's a board on this topper that basically makes it light up and such. So, already there is technically two modifications I have in this scenario. I just got this piece on Amazon, and I'm happy to see that it works. I will need it for the final stuff, so nothing's lost. But basically, the first mod I did is that I took the power connector, which is a, it's two blue wires and this big kind of white clip, and I extended it. I basically, from the back box, there's a, it's a clip, it's clipped into another power thing. You remove that clip, now you have like a three or four foot wire that goes to this board. I basically cut the middle of it, spliced in your regular 18-2, and bought power. I basically extended the power. Now remember, long story short, I do plan to offer a kit for this. If it looks good, if it's functional, I do plan to offer a kit. Just gotta keep in mind, there's gonna be stuff in the back box. Not in it, but really the rear of it, the outside. You will have wires on the outside. It's not a big deal, because nobody really sees the back, but you have to think in reality with this mod, the board is gonna be in the rear of the back box, you will need to have this other piece I bought. I didn't really mention the Amazon piece, but I did buy a mini, it's a USB mini B extender, male to female. Uh, five pin is okay. I do have the five pin one. This is like, I don't know, 10 bucks on Amazon. And basically it extended it a good three or four feet. Um, as you can see, the connection is here. So it's not really a long wire inside of the back box because it's only got to go a couple of feet. But the modification I have to do, we're going to probably be looking at around five to six feet of wire. Don't quote me exactly on that. But as you can see right now, I do have the topper working off of the back box. I have it on the side. It's pretty cool. Now again, what I've done so far, it works. It's pretty cool. If you look on pin side, there is somebody that actually took the topper, put it on a shelf next door, not next door, but next to the cab. I'm not totally a fan of that. I don't, it's cool. At least the topper works. Are you worried about it? That, the, the track mode on it always scares me. It always gets me. But at least it works. I personally don't like it on the side, but again, the cool thing in this scenario is I'm not the only one. 
and I feel great that I'm not the only one that bought a collector's edition that doesn't, the topper doesn't fit. So, yes, uh, you might think that we are weird people, but again, my objective now is to modify it. Long story short, I am aiming to put the gunners on the sides right here. So utilizing the back box here underneath, I'm planning to put a piece of wood and the gunner basically would sit here. I'm also have to, I would have to also do it in a way that if you drop the back box, it won't touch any of the armor, which I think I could do. So basically on my mod, I'm going to be utilizing the gunners. That's the main thing I want. My brother-in-law was like, Vic, the car, man, the car is beautiful. It's awesome. The car is cool. Don't get me wrong. It just has the headlights. Um, but other than that, it definitely won't fit. Maybe if I remove it off of this, this kind of plexiglass it's sitting on, maybe I can put it on top, but I don't think it's going to fit. My main focus is the gunners. And I think the modification I have, I think it's also cool because it is going to be eye level with the player. Right now, the topper, and you know, I had a buddy of mine, Project Canada, he's like, oh man, don't worry about the topper because you don't even see it while you're playing. It's really for spectators to see it, whereas the actual player, you're not really seeing the gunners. So that's also another reason why I'm anxious for this mod. The, the actual Gunner Floyd or mic that I have inside the cabinet, what, I love it. I love that target, I love that mech. Now just imagine the Gunners at your eye level. They're basically with Mike or Floyd, I always forget his name, but they're basically with him hitting you. Not to mention right now, the topper disconnected, if you don't have power to it, it disables the knocker. So that knocker, it, you don't hear it unless you have the topper connected. So my main thing and what I'm learning and I, this is my experience and what I believe, once you have that board connected, the knocker will activate. So again, as far as me personally on my mod, I'm only needing the gunners. And we gotta make it look good. I do plan also to utilize the barrel piece here and the box piece. Might have to add a little bit more to make it kind of fuller, but I don't mind that. Again, like I said, stay tuned for more videos. This video, we're really gonna be just looking at the topper. We're gonna have a camera set up on the topper. We're gonna have a camera set up on basically the play field and the back glass, and we're gonna play it from there. Now, also, I'm making this video really for me. I wanna learn and see what is actually happening, what is actually activating during gameplay. So far, with the 10 minutes I've played with the topper on, it looks like the gunners are the main thing, and then the front LEDs. That is what's really interactive. There is side LEDs here that's illuminating these barrels, and an LED here in the rear for the skyline. That looks like it's just statically on, and I personally could live without it. Looks like the addressable LED strip is what I have to modify, and the gunners. And yes, the headlights to the car, obviously that is there. Now let's take just a closer look. Let's bring you in close. Let's take a look at what exactly is going on because when I powered this on, a couple of things surprised me. Number one, there is an LED right in front of the gunner. It's actually attached to the gunner. That is awesome. That's giving a nice little shadow effect, shooting him upwards here and also the second gunner here. That has an LED here. That is awesome. As far as you can see here, and I also see the description down below, I actually measured everything. Uh, I could take a look at it real quick on my phone, but I measured every piece. I measured from the base to the top of the gunner's head. I believe this is about six inches tall. I did the base to the top of this red, which is 10 and a half. The boxes and the barrel kind of plexiglass here is seven inches tall at the, at the tallest part. I did a lot of measuring, so you could definitely take a look at the description down below in case you were wondering like me, if I remove the red, maybe it'll fit on my, in my basement, but unfortunately not even the gunners would fit. Now just changing sides, I will bring you in the rear kind of an overhead view. Again, you can see here the addressable LED here. I was very happy to see this because this is like your standard flexible LED. I don't know if it's totally flexible, it might be a hard PCB, but I'm happy to see that I could see the, um, the copper. So basically I could cut and then solder. Just gotta remember though, addressable LEDs are in line. So I have to keep that line and then like I said, when I figure out my modification, I'm gonna have to figure out where it is because I believe during gameplay, for example, the left gunner, this, this section of LEDs here is what changes to like red and orange. 
and then when this gunner goes off only this section of leds go with the color so there's a lot to it especially with adjustable leds there's a lot going on real quick where you are you could probably see here this white led that's basically illuminating this side panel same thing on the right from my experience and again that's why i'm going to make this video i don't believe these are doing anything i think these are just forever statically on in the reflection of the camera you could see the led in the rear here same thing i believe those are just statically on i don't think that does anything for it take you in hand now so check it out again we'll do like an overhead view i guess you could see that strip of led here Again, here, it's just basically illuminating this trim, which is really the only way to do that. Again, you can see the LED strip. It basically gives it a nice glow. But I'm going to see in gameplay, I don't think this is effective. I think this is statically on all the time. In my modification, that basically means I don't need this LED strip. I'm hoping. I have to see. I'm hoping. You might be able to see real quick the board. Again, it's just bright. The LEDs in this are bright. If my camera could focus, that'd be great. But basically you could see there the two cables. You have your USB, that's a USB mini B, and then this is the blue power. And as you, like I said, that's where I have the splice. Definitely final product, I'm gonna have this nice shrink wrapped and all that. Again, I just kind of makeshift this. This way I could at least see what it does. But awesome stuff. It looks like there's also a lot of wire slack. Like I said, I'm gonna have to make notes on the gunner. I could see like cables here. I'm going to make note. I'm going to take a lot of pictures for me personally just to make sure that this is the left. It's awesome. The gunner, I believe the head moves also. I believe, yeah, the head probably, I don't want to force it, but I believe the head moves and then also you got the, you know, he's got the awesome. It is, it's, it's a thing of beauty. I love the gunner. That's the main thing I want. I want these guys to move around. And basically right now I'm going to do a measurement, but I just need this. I need this. To this as you can see and I actually measured it it's four inches of like open space you need for this gunner to go left and right height I'm not worried about I got to make sure that we clear the left and the right I don't want this to bang into the you know the back box so cool and now as far as the car like I said I believe I've just seen this white and then I think it does amber that's it it's it's definitely a hard plastic Maybe, like I said, as you can see, it is levitating. It's on this piece of plexi. Maybe I could remove it, and then maybe it'll fit. Um, but yes, uh, there you go. That is an overview of it. Like I said, I'm going to basically play a couple of games, and we're going to hear this. We're going to hear the knocker go and all that. I just want to jump in real quick because I forgot to mention this, and now I just shot that. You might want to watch your speakers. <laughs> when the knockers go off, I mean, it's loud here. I don't know how it is on camera, so I just want to give you a heads up on that. Um, but yes, I am going to use that microphone that's on that camera, which was really pointed to the topper. Maybe you'll hear audio. Maybe I'll be able to mix in the camera here. But yes, let's play. All right, here we go. So we're going to start it up. I got a camera on the topper. I have a camera with the play field and the back glass. I disconnected the LEDs because it's just so blinding. In the game menu right now, you have a topper knocker effect. I originally had it set to Godfather, but I just want to show you what it looks like as far as the options on this. So you have off, sane, which is stock, insane, and then Godfather. So we're going to leave it on that. We're going to exit out. Prepare to watch some very horrible pinball action. I believe the topper activates in multi-ball modes, um, but let's see how it goes. Choose your Corleone. I'm going to go Corleone because the multi-balls are longer. Um, I'll try to do found because I could enable the Sicily multi ball. And yeah, no, obviously, I did it too hard. <laughs> That's just how I play. Hey, go see the Don. Try to go see the Don, maybe? It's not the friend, I'm gonna buy some food. Market day. Shoot the road and shot. Good job. Good job, kid. Perhaps the men were guiding me. Shoot the orbits. Right 
Jorge. shooting because this camera right here I don't know what happened it turned off but basically it looks like when you activate multi ball that's when the gunners start moving and when you hit a jackpot that's when the knockers start going so pretty cool I'm gonna raise the volume I lowered it cool so I'm gonna definitely try to hit this uh, fountain because I'll get the sizzling multi ball at least cool sizzling multi ball is lit no job yet. Lay low. Enter the Don's office, please. 
shot. Give me something. 
I know, I know, I know. Get to the high note. Here we go. Come on. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> That's a hard shot. I can never get it. Compound. Damn it. I'm making some alterations. I hit the post. to the hideout. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Damn it. Ah. Oh, this. Shoot for the compound. Compound and the hideout. No, this is unraveling. Oh, we got, oh, that just fucking hit the compound. It didn't awesome. stay though. Damn it. <laughs> Gonna meet with an accident. I'm that accident. Awesome. Alright, we'll get this last one. I'm doing I'm, it's probably my highest score to date. Just uh, gonna take your face out of it. No. Oh! That's the snap. Oh. Ooh. It's like a job we call for. Sit on the other side. So we're blocking the rear view. Mm -hmm. Take the cannoli. Shoot the, Shoot the lit shots. Oh. So, not all green. Oh. Blood don't come out. Ah. Hit the left ramp. So just to give you an idea on how that was shot, again, I actually made a pinball rig with a coat rack. Uh, most likely we'll want to stream this. So that was shot like this. Again, just I'm gonna have to look at the footage because I'm looking here. That's like the other thing why I'm anxious to do this mod. I'm looking at that where I could imagine the gunners, it'll be right there. So it's pretty cool that the gunners go with the multi-balls and not to mention the gun goes off as you can see whenever you hit a jackpot. So I like that. Probably my only minor complaint is I kind of wish they were like moving more. Again, I'm not looking at it. I'm gonna look back at the footage, but from what I see, and not to mention the topper is down there. So even me playing, I was able to kind of see it. Where it's different when it's up there. I'm not looking up there. So again, I'm very anxious for this mod. And that was just so cool. Before me shooting, I didn't realize that the gunners move with multi-ball and that they go off according to the jackpot. I just thought they were just moving. So it's kind of cool. It's basically satisfying. You could hear it in my voice that like when the knockers are going off, I'm like, okay, I'm doing something good. I'm hitting jackpots. And then the satisfaction is just a da -da 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 -da, and it's loud. As you can see, we are in Godfather mode, man. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I also got excited because I got, I had never seen extra ball lit. Uh, and also, excuse my, my, that's how I play pinball. Um, it's not great. Somebody's like, damn, Vic, like, you suck. I'm like, okay. <laughs> At least I had a ball with that, but damn. 
Uh, again, I'm gonna have to go back on the footage just to see how the addressable LEDs are. I don't think, like I said, those white LEDs, I don't think I'm gonna be putting those. But all in all, there you have it. There is a, a view of the topper. Again, in gameplay, I have not seen anybody record it. Uh, so I hope this video is useful. Stay tuned, because again, my main thing is to get those gunners underneath the back box. Vic VP, Game Case Arcades, speak softly love.